Right, let's move on for a moment, because uh, an Australian comedy group, in fact, is defending a mother's right to breastfeed in public with a dash of humour and a bit of role reversal. Grizzlements is a collection of skits from comedians in Melbourne, tackling, on this occasion, the absurdity of asking a breastfeeding mother to feed her child in the bathroom. The sketch has had huge take-up online. Here's a bit of it for you. Excuse me, sir. The women are uncomfortable with the man eating alone. Could we move you somewhere else? You want to eat in the toilet? Why should my baby? Can I have a napkin, please? Sure. How many do you want? Mm, good point well made, you might say. Joining me on webcam is the writer and director of that uh, comedy sketch, Michael Griffith. Also with us, the president of the Australian Breastfeeding Association, Rachel Fuller. Thanks both for joining us. Uh, Michael, let me start with you, if, if I can put it really nicely down. But, but here you are in your, uh, well, you're not in your 20s. Um, you're not about to be a young dad, I guess. It's not a problem that confronts you all the time. What, what pushed you into to taking this uh, well, with a, a group, we started a group of comedians called the Grizzlements, and uh, we like doing parody videos about issues. And someone suggested we do one about breastfeeding rights, and I came up with the idea, and we just did it. We didn't even know uh, it was Breastfeeding Week, and uh, we just did it. And now it's all gone like this, and we're, we're quite amazed. Well, yeah, you say it's gone like this. It's gone viral, huge interest. Um, I, I, a, yeah. you're clearly a bit surprised at the level of it, perhaps, but has it all been good? Uh, it has been... We've only had two bad comments, which uh, was uh, two people are, uh, suggested it was made by radical feminists. And, uh, in fact, uh, most of us are Melbourne tram drivers. And uh, not that we're against <laughs> feminism at all, but uh, so no, the rest has just been wonderful. Even while we were filming it, we didn't have a breastfeeding mother, which we wanted to find. And as we were fe fe uh, filming the toilet scene, uh, we could hear a baby crying. And one of the producers, Rahana Hayes, uh, went out, approached the woman, and she said, absolutely, I'll be in it. And she came in and filmed it. So there it was, was a magic. It was meant to happen. It worked very well, clearly. Rachel, yeah. I mean, from your perspective, I'm sure you're delighted and delighted with the response it's had. But how, how big a deal is this still in, in Australia? It really is still a big deal, which is surprising, you know, given the year that we're in. But the, uh, breastfeeding in public is the issue that we're most often asked to speak about. Still, there's a lot of women who are asked to move or asked to stop breastfeeding or simply don't feel comfortable breastfeeding out in public. But, th but that is protected, isn't it, by law? I mean, they're allowed yes. to do it. Do, do you think women don't know, they don't recognise that? I, I know it still takes quite a lot to stand up and say, I know my rights. It does. I think that new mums in particular are quite vulnerable. No, you know, women don't want to put themselves out there. They just want to meet their baby's needs. When their baby's hungry, they just want to give it a feed. And I think they don't want to be confronted nor feel the need to be confrontational and talk about their rights. So I think there are certainly a lot of women who avoid going out, particularly when their baby's very young. Mm. Well, it's uh, clearly uh, struck a chord again on this occasion. We're going to have to leave it there, mm. unfortunately. But Rachel, Rachel Fuller and Michael Griffiths, thank you both very much indeed for joining us uh, on the programme here on BBC World News. And that is GMT. We've got much more to come at the top of the hour, so uh, don't go far away. Thanks for watching.